Well, the picturesque saguaros that make up the desert landscape are being bulldozed by a construction company near Dove Mountain. Some people who live in the area, they're outraged. But as News 4 Tucson's Danelle Confair tells us, the whole thing is legal. It's new at 5. These pictures have gone viral and show some saguaros being bulldozed in Marana, all to clear out land for new homes. Even protected plants in Arizona can be removed if there are proper permits. But the cactus left behind only shows a needle of the story, according to one nonprofit who says they were out earlier in June saving a lot of the plants on this property. They had already rescued so many and then they had a, a salvager out there rescuing the rest of them, taking them off site. So, uh, you know, this quality cooperative effort between developers and, uh, and uh, people like the Cactus Society is fantastic. Over 200 cacti that you see around me were rescued from construction sites. That's thanks to one local nonprofit. That nonprofit is the Tucson Cactus and Succulent Society that works hand in hand with developers so that they can rescue saguaros and other desert plants. We're uh, able to rescue all the smaller plants, the barrel cactus, the pincushions, uh, ocotillo, which are not a cactus, which are a succulent plant. On that particular day that we did our rescue, uh, we rescued all almost 1,100 plants. Even with their efforts, along with other for-profit groups, many local residents are fired up after seeing these saguaros bulldozed and piled up. The people who might be complaining just have to say, you know, what was my yard like before I bought the house and moved in? He says some saguaros are too big to be transplanted and that even if they were, they wouldn't hold up for very long. They're too old. They're too big to move. Every plant they were able to rescue is resold at certain times of the year with some of those profits going to K-12 through education. If you'd like to purchase a cactus, they have the Blooming Barrel Cell August 12th. Reporting from 4th and Whitmore, Danelle Confair, News 4 Tucson.